guys welcome back to my channel and let's get started with this i wanted to show different techniques with using different paste on um, these little squares these are four by fours and i want you to look at the back here i did use liquid latex instead of the frog tape i kind of like it better that's what i use you can get it on amazon it's really great put it on there it dries and you can pop that stuff right off but you can see I already started with my sand is there. I put a little bit of glitter in it to give it some, oomph. you know, you know, we want to jazz it up a little bit. And I'm using the colors here, just some blue colors. I want to get a good feel for the, um, the different techniques that you can get with these, um, with these different pigment pastes. So I'm making sure I pop the bubbles. That's really important. And what I'm doing here is we're going to start with mermaid trash and I do have the lace white, but I wanted to use foam white. So I picked up the wrong one, but and later on I'll switch it over. So let's get started with it. So clear resin goes down after your colors. Really important to do this. If not, your waves are going to pick up the colors that you have in your, in your piece, which, you know, you might want that. You might not want it, but if you don't want it, put the clear down. Here I would have, mm, I wish I would have put it a little bit thicker, but that's okay. That way we can push it out. But again, this is the lace white. I wanted to use the foam, which later on I will show you what the foam looks like. I love the foam one. So really important. This is my heat gun. This is the nozzle I'm using. You can get it on Amazon or you can get it in Lowe's, but make sure you get the heat gun that has a different nozzles. This novel is really, really great. You hold it at 45 degree angle. And I usually heat up a little bit first and then push it out and then torch it. So right there, you can see, I didn't show you I torched it, but I did torch it. And we're moving on to Just Resin, Just Resin Titanium White. Um, I'm mixing all everything up good and putting my clear leader. That was my cat running around, making noise. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, I'm putting my clear down. And again, this one's Just Resin. And here I am, and you can see that I put a little bit thicker, which is what I should have did for the first one. But that's okay. We'll get back to the other one later. Remember, we're heating up a little bit, and then we're going to start blowing it right out. And when you have it a little bit thicker, see how it kind of flows all the way to the back, and you can kind of maneuver and play with it. So right there, it's kind of mixed up a little bit in the middle, so I hit it again. And then I'm going to torch it, and you can see all the cells coming out when you torch. And you can see that magic happen. That's what I always think. Magic is happening. So that's what it looks like. See, I waited a little while. You gotta be patient. You know, when they come up, they're really pretty. So this one's the Armored Art. Make sure I'm putting my clear layer on again. And this one was kinda, I love how it was going on. It looked pretty, but you know what? I didn't, this one wasn't leveled out for some reason. I don't know if I moved it or adjust it, but it kinda went over to the side and you'll see, you'll see later what I'm talking about. But here we go. Let's heat it up some. And I'm taking forever to get to it, huh? Waiting. There we go. Okay. So me pushing it out. I really like all of these different pigments that you can use. But look how this one is really nice. And when, again, when we torch this, you can see everything start coming out. You don't want to over torch it, burn it. Just a little bit so that's why you see me torching it really fast but see right there you can already see them coming out remember i told you i was coming back to this one this one now i'm using the foam white so i mix up some new one i'm not using the lace this one's the foam mermaid trash foam white which this one i absolutely love actually i love all of them they're really good but i really did want to show you the difference here not only that but you can see a good technique there too so I'm pushing it out. See, and I did it a little bit thicker, and that's exactly what I wanted. Don't forget to torch it. Here we go. And that's going to look at it already forming. It's the magic. It's the magic, guys. We love that magic. And this one is, I'm doing another one, just resin. resin. I had another one left over, so I was like, you know what? Let's do another one. That's why I put, had an extra one. And that way I can make them a set. But again, I put a thick layer down. I'm pushing it out completely. I did heat it up a little tiny bit prior to pushing. Or you could torch it before you push. Whichever, whatever technique you like. You've got to figure out what your technique is. And it comes out really nice there. You can already see it. I don't even have to torch. You can see the little cells already coming across. I'm just going to fix... You know the drips on the side 
make it look pretty. So this one was a mermaid trash, foam white. Look how pretty that is. This did move a little bit. They're taking a better look. And I wanted to show you, um, that is pretty there, but I wanted to show you on a bigger piece. So the bigger piece that I did is this board. So right here, that's with the mermaid trash foam white look. How pretty it is, it's beautiful. Yes, I already sold this piece, but look how pretty it came out. Use it for all three waves. And it really depends on what technique you're looking for. So this one here, oh my gosh, it came out so pretty. I know you like that board. Um, here's just resin, titanium white, so beautiful as well. Can't wait to use this on a piece. Hey, there's armor art. They all look really, really nice. So it just depends on what kind of look you're looking for, depending on which one you're gonna use. So I do like the titanium white. Again, these these pieces, because of the back of them, weren't too um, level. So you can kind of see where it kind of went off to the side, especially with my um, with my armor one. See, that's just resin. That looks really, really pretty. Both of them are. Love it, love it, love it. And I did take the liquid latex off. I wanted to show you a little bit of that, look how pretty the back looks. It kind of just came, it comes out really nice. This one didn't have to do anything to. So the, here's the back. So the liquid latex, it kind of just peels right off. So you can kind of peel it off. I'm gonna show you what it looks like in my hand when I peel it off. There it is. And then just heat the drips up a little bit. I always like to heat them that way they come off nice and um, like cut, or you could cut them first and then heat it, whichever you prefer. Usually I just pop them right off with my fingernail. But sometimes when you have little pieces like this, your nail, your nail might be like screaming it towards the end. So I did use my nail at first and then I got a little a little a metal thing to clip the rest of them off. See the armored art? This, um, it went to the side. If not, it would look, probably look like just resin too. It's still pretty. But since I didn't have a level too much, here's all four of them. They came out so pretty. I love every single one of them. And I can see right now distinctly how I would use them on different projects. So that was just resin. Just resin is really pretty. Or if you put different layers of like say alcohol ink in between your layers, oh my gosh. This one I didn't do alcohol ink or anything like that. But if you did, you would see definitely see a little bit more depthness like you did on my, um, my tray. So here's just another look. You know, thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed my video. And here's my kitty, his name is Kai. And he was the one that was making all the noise in the background, running back and forth. But yeah, this is my kitty and hey Kai. I always call him hi handsome. Yeah, he's like, get out of my face. I'm trying to sleep now. So thanks for watching.